Hi, look what just arrived. It's a Crow Panel Advanced 7 inch HMI ESP32 AI display. Let's unbox it and see different features. So this is the display comes with this wireless module. So this is a ESP32 H2 wireless module. We'll see how to connect this module and utilize with display in a minute. Let's first unbox the display and see so display comes with these accessories type c usb cable and some connecting wires so it is a it has acrylic case okay so let's unbox this or unscrew this acrylic case okay so this is the back side of this display uh, let's remove the acrylic case and see the different peripherals on this display okay now let's see all the peripherals and features of this board one by one let's start with this uh, type c usb port so you can see this is a type c usb port here where you can connect the type c usb cable to power the device as well as for programming so this is the single port which you can use for powering the board display module as well as for programming purpose all right then down here here is the uart port serial uart port to connect the serial uh, sensors or peripherals so it's an input port you can see and there are two other serial ports here these are output ports so this is a uart 0 output port this is uart 1 output port so this is a serial uart input port all right then next is here you can see this is a function select switch so we'll see the function and uh, what purpose of this switch in a minute but let's see next uh, port so this is a battery port so battery you can connect this board with the 3.71 battery to make it portable so there is battery port as well as charging circuitry so if you connect the battery to the if you connect the battery and put the uh, usb cable here battery will get charged so you can use this port as a display module or HMI display as a portable then there is a one here you can see there is RTC built-in RTC chip so with battery so this is a, a coin battery button battery CR1220 and it is connected to uh, continuously powering the RTC real-time clock so it RTC is connected via I2C you can see this address I2C address then next is a speaker so there is also speaker output port you can connect speaker here for this display the next is a SD card a reader or SD card slot so it is a TF micro SD card slot where you can insert the micro SD card you can store different images or anything on that card and access it via microcontroller the next is a microphone microphone so you can see this is a mems microphone here this is my micro, mems microphone you can use this microphone and this speaker to make this display as a smart home controller all right so the next is uh, these are two switches here one is for reset and for booking purpose so you can this but you can use this button to reset and put the display in a bootloader mode all right so let's see the main brain of this for display board so this is a esp32 s3 microcontroller so this is the main board of this display then we have seen earlier like these are two clur port there is one also i2c port so you can connect different electro or crotel sensors on port they have different sensors more than 150 so you can connect this sensor to these ports input your port or i2c port right then there is a built-in buzzer so you can use this for notification on the purpose and then there is a wireless port wireless module port so you can connect the different wireless module here we'll see that in a minute now let me tell you about this function select switches so this is the switch which is used to select different functions means peripherals 
so you can see if you switch this uh, if you make these switches on off like this table different peripherals will get activated like mic and speaker wireless module microphone and tf or sd card so all the documentation are given on that uh, wiki page of this uh, board we'll see that in a uh, next video now let's see demo of this video before that i will tell you about the wireless module and how you can insert the wireless module here let's open the wireless module here this is the esp32 h2 wireless module and you can see there is an arrow indicated here which you have to put up like this and insert the module in the headers in wireless module headers like this okay so this is a esp32 h2 wireless module now let's power on this display there is one demo program is running on the display we will see that so here let's remove the let's power on this using type c usb cable as soon as you power on this uh, display you will see some animation or some information about this display like this so this is uh, information about this display ram and flash mcu type and this is the gui or user interface this is a lvgl version 8 based uh, user interface you can design this using lvgl library okay you can ch switch to different screens like this there are bar graphs profiles buttons sections you can change the color there is a slider also all right let's reset the board using reset button like this so currently buttons are not linked to anything these are bar graphs you can scroll through this this is very responsive you can see there are some gauges are designed which are very dynamic you can see like this and in the profile section you can change the color of buttons you can see or theme okay like this you can theme change the color of the theme like this then other features are the keyboard okay so you can see the keypad you can type it like this all right so in this way you can change the color theme and all the things so you can design this user interface using lvgl library this is open graphics library and you can also use softwares like squareline studio which you can use the squareline studio to it's just a drag and drop interface or software gui software with which you can uh, design your screen and then it will generate the user user interface files and you can use those files in uh, your programming okay all right so this was all about the features and peripherals of this awesome display hmi display board in next video we will see documentation of this uh, display and how you can program it let's see thank you see you in the next video